so today we are going to discuss euclidean space this is rn okay so we have already studied r2 and r3 so euclidean space rn is a generalization of those concepts or r2 r2 you have already seen in schools r2 means two dimension we have a x axis y axis we plot points right r3 that means a three dimension x axis y axis z axis just like we are living in three dimension right and if you have any wall any picture on the wall or any diagram on a blackboard that is example of r2 two dimensional figure so rn is a generalization of r2 and r3 right so all concept which we use in r2 and r3 just like a distance and all so those concept we um, generalize to the rn so let us discuss all these things in details okay so euclidean space rn okay so we'll start with r2 first so as you know in r2 we have a order pair x y so where x and y both are real numbers so for example 2 comma minus 3 this is element of r2 see when we uh, draw the diagram getting we have x axis and y axis and we can plot any point here okay so similarly we have a r3 also so in r3 we have a ordered triplet right x y z we write where x y z all are real numbers can you give me your own example of r3 one element of r3 yeah you can take any one getting if i consider 1 3 minus 5 this is element of r3 right see when you draw the diagram so we have a three axis x axis y axis and z axis see euclidean space rn is a generalization of this concept actually we cannot draw the diagram here rn means obviously you have n number of components right where all these are real numbers okay see so the next thing is how to add okay two elements of rn so let us take one example okay so see suppose we have i am considering r5 i am taking one element of r5 1 2 3 -1 5 whatever we want we can take element of r5 but the compulsion is five components should be there after that i will take one more element okay of r5 -3 4 6 9 2 components are there right so this is element of r5 so when you have two elements of r5 you can add or subtract or scalar multiplication can be possible there right so then see how to add them okay i am going going what i am going to do x plus y i am going to find out first i wrote x plus i will write y now now component wise addition is there right 1 plus minus 3 it will be minus 2 2 plus 4 6 3 plus 6 9 minus 1 plus 9 8 5 plus 2 say 1 so again this is element of r5 getting so so when you have two elements of r5 or two elements of r7 whatever are in getting you can add or subtract also getting but the compulsion is both should be element of rn one element of rn and second element of rm you cannot add or subtract so let us find out subtraction also okay then i am going i am going to calculate x minus y first i will write x now i will subtract component wise 1 minus minus 3 that means plus 4 2 minus 4 minus 2 3 minus 6 Minus three, minus one, minus nine, minus ten, five, minus two, three. So this is a required answer, and again it is an element of R five. So the last is scalar multiplication. That means we are taking any element. Alpha is equal to any constant you can take. What shall I take? Two. Okay, two. And I am taking x, which is element of some R seven. I will take. Okay. Tell me some digits. Uh, say one, two, three, four, minus one, zero. Also, you can take. Huh? How many six we have written? Or I will add one more eight. Right. Since then, see. Let us see how to calculate alpha x. Can you tell me? Two into the x. I need to write it again. Tell me how to take product. Two into say one. Fourteen. Two into two. Four. Six. Eight minus two zero and sixteen. This is a 
required answer so in this way we add subtract and scalar multiply getting so actually multiplication is not there so one concept is there inner product okay so that concept we will discuss in details in our next video okay we'll stop here thank you